What's up guys, this is Corey. Welcome to CNA Films and Animation. Today I'm going to be talking about another Best Picture nominated movie, this one from 1940, Charlie Chaplin's The Great Dictator. So The Great Dictator stars Charlie Chaplin, Paulette Goddard, and Reginald Gardner, and it follows um, Charlie Chaplin. He plays two different characters. First character he plays is a dictator named Aranoid Hinkle, and this dictator is um, rising to power. He's starting to take over countries and everything, and his entire plan is to take over the world. And the second character that he plays is a Jewish barber who uh, looks just like this dictator. And, you know, it's basically a huge homage, or not even homage, it, it's basically a mirror of World War II Nazi Germany. So this film is a comedy, but at the same time it is also kind of a war movie, and it's also kind of a drama in a sense. Charlie Chaplin both wrote and directed this film, and this film was more or less sparked because someone mentioned to him that he looked just like Adolf Hitler. And once he uh, heard that, he started, you know, kind of writing this script, and, you know, he was interested in kind of showing this comparison. Um, he played both the dictator and this uh, Jewish barber, and it kind of images real life. Um, you know, he's kind of going off of his uh, tramp character, uh, with the hat, the little mustache, and his cane. And, you know, he transformed this tramp character into this barber. And after a head injury and during uh, World War One, I, I think it was, he wakes up and, unbeknownst to him, the uh, Nazis, they're not Nazis, they're, they're called uh, stormtroopers, have taken over the camps and have written uh, Jew in the windows of all the buildings and you know he is not really sure what's going on and you know eventually uh, his character and the dictator uh, get confused and switched up and it sparks one of the most infamous uh, speeches ever given in film history. This film was nominated for five Oscars, including Best Picture, Best Actor in a Leading Role for Charlie Chaplin, Best Actor in a Supporting Role for Jack Oakey, who played a dictator in a different country who visits uh, the dictator Henkel, and um, it basically uh, Jack Oakey's character is Mussolini. It is also nominated for Best Original Screenplay and Best Original Score. This film was a very controversial film, and I think it is a very controversial film today. Um, you know, he definitely did a lot of comparisons to what was going on at the time to, you know, putting it into his film. Uh, there are some things in this film that, you know, I was rather surprised that they had it in there. And, you know, it's especially surprising considering that this is a comedy of World War II. This is not, you know, the only comedy out there with World War II. Um, you know, producers kind of comes to mind uh, with Springtime for Hitler, as well as uh, the foreign film Life is Beautiful. Both are kind of com comedic uh, interpretations of World War II. Granted, the producers is a play about Hitler, but still, it, I, I'm going to include it. I honestly really enjoyed this movie. Um, it's definitely a very interesting film considering, you know, the time that it came out plus, you know, just kind of an overall comparison of World War II and, uh, you know, these uh, characters and these situations. Uh, it's uh, definitely a very intriguing film and it at times is very funny. I expected, you know, nothing, uh, anything less from Charlie Chaplin. Uh, he's a very uh, funny actor for his time. And hell, I mean, I think he's even funny today. Uh, you know, it's uh, unfortunate that he has passed, you know, many years ago. But then again, you know, I mean, he started in the silent era, the silent film era. But, you know, he truly was a film legend, and, you know, he 
definitely brought a lot of very great uh, films that hold up today. If you guys ever get a chance to see this film, I do highly recommend it. It is, uh, you know, like I said, it's a very funny film, and at, at the same time, it's a very intriguing film, with, I think, one of the greatest speeches ever put to film, uh, spoken by Charlie Chaplin. And, you know, it's a very, it's a speech that is uh, true for the time, and I believe still true today. Uh, there are some things that he says in this speech that is uh, very powerful and very moving. And at the same time, uh, there's a big message in there that I think we can still take from today. And, you know, I think we should uh, continue on with that message. Uh, it's a fantastic speech. It's a fantastic film. I highly recommend they check it out. I'm going to give The Great Dictator a 9.8 out of 10. So tell me guys, have you seen The Great Dictator? If you have, what would you think of it? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Uh, what you think of the characters? What would you think of the comparison between World War II and uh, the, the film? What would you think of uh, Charlie Chaplin? Uh, the, the writing, the directing? Comment below, let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe. Be sure to check out our other videos. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And as always, I am Corey, and I will see you guys in the next one.